very much for that kind introduction. But you didn't mention my greatest claim to fame. I'm a graduate of Michigan Technological <laughs> University. I'm just so happy to be back. So many memories come rushing back. In fact, there's probably no place that brings back more vivid memories in this very room. I can't believe it. <laughs> and some are positive, and some are not so positive. The not so positive, and I remember vividly that I had my chemistry 101 lecture in here, and it was just a tough, tough course. More positive memory is we used to have Friday night movies here. Do they still do that? We yeah. used to be in a really good mood for lots of reasons, and uh, I just have lots of fond memories. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the outlook for energy. We're going to look out to the year 2040, and our real focus is on future consumers, and this is on a global basis. What's going to make sense for future consumers, and what are the kind of economic and technical realities that are going to shape their choices? I want to start by saying, you know, we appreciate that most people don't really think too much about energy in their daily lives. You know, you plug, plug in your cell phone charger to the wall, you pull into a gas station, you get gasoline, you just expect the energy to flow. And of course it does. In this country, we have a very reliable energy system. But let me assure you, behind the scenes, it involves a challenge of enormous scale. And just to put the scale in perspective, in just one day in one country in the U.S., you look at all the forms of energy that we use and put it on a liquid fuel equivalent, it involves 10 billion gallons of fuel every single day. So for those of us who work in the industry, when we get up in the morning, you know, we don't go to bed until those 10 billion gallons of fuel. So the whole issue of scale is very important in the energy industry. Now the other thing I want to say before I start is I always like to explain to audiences why we do this energy output. This is done in my group in corporate headquarters in Dallas, and the main purpose of this work is to guide our strategic planning and to help us make our investment decisions. A typical project in the energy business, certainly in the oil and gas business, is 20, 30, even 50 billion dollars for one project. And we're putting all this steel on the ground is going to be in place for 50, 60 years. So the industry has naturally a very long horizon for planning. So we really have to keep our eye on the ball for the longer term. The other thing is, some people might think is that some of this may look like a slick packaged presentation, that it's kind of the future ExxonMobil would like to see. But let me assure you, the last thing we want to do is kind of delude ourselves about the future, because they're making these big investment decisions. So our, our chairman tells me every year, my job is to come up with what we really think is going to happen, whether or not it's good for our company is something we'll address with our strategic plans. 